All right. Good morning, everyone. And I have a story here. So honored to be here with each of you and I'm super excited to be leading our call today. It's Tuesday, September 4th, and um, we're just getting started on the month. So not sure if everybody was able to attend the call yesterday. I'd love to know um, who was on our call, our Monday vision call yesterday with David David Will you drop us a one in the comments if you were on that call with us yesterday? I wasn't on it, but I listened to it this morning. It was awesome. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So if you watch the replay, if you got to listen into it, um, that was really an incredible call. So I'm really excited for the information that was shared on there. He gave us some great um, tips for getting into action, some great like lingo of what we can say to people. Um, so great tips yesterday. <clears throat> And, um, and then we also had the one with Ronnie Landis earlier in the day. So I'm curious how many of you guys, I think pretty much everybody on here was on that call. That was another amazing call to help us get into action. So for, if you guys just check your phones. Hey, Tara, you need to say something, hon? Oh, I was just going to say that I was on that call and that was awesome. I'm so glad I started. I want to show my son. Yes, yes. Really awesome information. I'm really excited that we have access to such amazing leaders and um, so much training and coaching along the way. We really have no excuse to not get into action and be successful with this business because we have so many tools that we can use and we have so much support and so many great leaders showing us the way. So, um, and if you guys are looking for any of the recordings, Skylar said that the replays are all in a team posted. So you can always find them there. If you did miss the call yesterday with Ronnie Landis or with David Spelteddy, um, those are both really great calls. So first thing, I'm curious who here has their business plan already filled out. Um, drop me a two in the comments if you already have your business plan filled out and a three if you haven't filled out your business plan yet. Awesome. So most of you have filled out a business plan. That's awesome. There's something that we do at the beginning of every single month. And it's really important because it's a great way to set our goals for not only the following month, but for the following months. Um, right now we're at the beginning of a 90 day run. It's a three month um, commitment. And it's something that we like to do to really help you launch your business into action and get more people on your team running with you towards your goals. So it's really exciting, it's super fun. 90 day runs are amazing. Watching the momentum grow is so fun. Um, so I'm really excited for this opportunity to lead this call today. And I see that many of you guys already filled out business plans. Some of you guys haven't yet. So um, for those of you who don't have a business plan, hopefully you at least have one printed out. They look like this. And mine is two-sided. Um, so the way that this works is at the top it has, if you don't have one of these, then you'll just have to write down some of the most important reasons you're doing this. Some of the ones on here are early retirement, new home, more family, new car, travel, debt-free, a vacation home, helping family, time freedom, charity, children's education, and financial security. So those are all ones that we check off. I personally pretty much put little hearts on all of them because it's so, um, all of those things are things that I want to manifest. Thanks. Raven just posted the link to the business plan worksheet in the comments. Um, so the next thing is your most important goal, writing down why you're doing this business, because we want you to really know why it is that you're in business. Um, so many of us are used to getting hired, having a job, having a boss tell us what to do, showing up for work and getting paid at the end of the week. But not everybody knows how to um, work in their own hours and maybe what it is that you're working for. When you go to your job, you know that you're working for that paycheck at the end of the week and you know that your boss is going to tell you what to do. But when you're working for yourself, you really have to put yourself into action and tell yourself what to do and be accountable to those, um, to the things that you want in your life. So this is a way to kind of write something down that is a goal um, of something that you want to achieve. Maybe you've been working your butt off for your whole life and you've never taken a vacation so you need to be able to make extra money to take a vacation or maybe there's other things that you need in your life so <clears throat> write down what your um, most important thing is and 
for mine, I wrote my mission on there. My mission is to help more mamas be able to stay home with their babies while supporting their family and helping others in return. So that was what I wrote in that little slot. You can write your little mission quote, or you can write something that you're manifesting in your life on that bigger picture. Next, we're gonna go down to where it says income goals. And it says one, one month, six months, and a year, but we're gonna put one month, two months, and three months, because this is a 90-day run. So we wanna know what we're gonna achieve in our first month, second month, and third month. So next to that, I want you to write what your one month goal is. What are you gonna make this month? By the end of the month, what, are you, what amount are you gonna be making? So this could be, for some people, maybe you need an extra 500 to $1,000 to be able to not fall behind on bills. Um, that's the reality for most people in America today. Or maybe you need to be able to make some extra money, like I was saying earlier, for some vacation that you really want. Hey, you guys know that we have a, a regional in Kauai in a few months, so start saving up if you want to come see us in Kauai. Um, so things like that. What, what amount of money is going to make a difference? Maybe this month you're working towards starting to replace your current income. Maybe in three months, you want to replace that income and no longer have to report to that boss or to that job. Everybody's reality is different. So write down how much you're going to make one month, um, and then the second month, and the third month. And these are just your income goals, what you'd like to be making, and we're going to be building up to these amounts. So every month, you know, we're building momentum, and we're going to figure out how to, how to reach these goals. Um, the next part is the rank goals. And so the first one is what date would you like to reach the 1K club by? And I'm going to be breaking this down a little bit in a minute so it makes more sense. Um, the 1K club can be anywhere from, you know, <clears throat> it could be three to five customers um, spending, you know, between two and five hundred dollars. Depending on what the customer spends, that's going to get you to the 1K club. So you're, you're trying to get um, $1,000 in volume from your customer sales. So how many, um, what date do you think that you can get to 1K club by, or that you're going to commit to getting to 1K club by? And then what date would you like to commit to getting to 2K club by? For some people, um, we might get to 1K club this month and reach director. And maybe we'll get to two clay club next month and reach executive. You just never know. It's different for everybody. Somebody else might reach two K club and reach director um, with most of their own volume. We've seen a couple awesome team members that are awesome at the K clubs and, you know, just rocking it up into those ranks. So it's different for everybody, but this is just a little goal setting. So the next slot is what date would you like to reach director by? And what date would you like to reach executive by? And I even like to write on there when I'm going to reach the diamond rank because that really is like the, the stepping stone into the leadership ranks of when I'm really making my residual income. So I like putting on there like I'm going to reach, I'm going to be back into the diamond rank by like the 10th of the month. So that way I know I'm on track for my bigger goals, right? Or maybe I'll even reach diamond by the 7th of the month. Um, so, you know, as you reach higher in the, in the levels, you'll reach those ranks um, a lot quicker because you have a bigger team working with you. So the next um, section is at the bottom of your page and it asks you how many social media exposures you want to make per week. So this isn't necessarily every time you post on social media. This is um, how many times per week are you going to be making exposures with um, maybe coming back towards the opportunity that we have or um, coming back towards a product. So something I want to think about when we're posting on social media is think about one product that you're really enjoying right now. And then think about how you felt before that product and what that product did for you and share that. Don't say, you know, um, I love my power shake every single day on social media, for example. Share about the experience versus the product because people love to share stories. People love to hear experiences. So share about what it's done for you versus just blasting products out there um, is really helpful. So that would be like one of your social media exposures per week possibly. Or maybe you're sharing about how you love our community, um, our mission, 
our company. There's so many different things that you could share about, and it's really important that you share the before and the after of why it is that you're doing this and what it is that you look forward to, um, why you're a part of this or what this product is going to do for you. Or, you know, for example, maybe I'm going to share that I had such a hard time sleeping and I have so much inflammation in my body, but then my friend gave me this cherry juice that really helped me get really deep sleep and have natural occurring melatonin. And as a result of that, now I'm sleeping like a baby. Who doesn't want that, right? Um, so that's a way that you can just share a really simple story and have people curious about what it is that you're doing. Um, one of our big campaigns this month is the Biomedic. Um, that is our, our company promotion is that for every biomedic pack that you sell, every new customer that starts with biomedic part, as part of their pack, we get entered into a drawing for a year supply of biomedic, just like they did with CBD last month. So that's amazing. Let's go with biomedic. Let's share about the effects of glyphosate. Let's share that we have a solution. Um, our other big campaign this month would be our 40 day transformation, <clears throat> which is starting on the 10th. And then I believe the group cleanse is starting um, around the 21st, around um, Equinox. So that's our other big thing that we're running towards. And I really encourage all of you, actually, <clears throat> if you have your phone on you, I encourage you to go on to Facebook right now. Um, and Raven, I don't know if you have the link close. Maybe you can make it easy and post the link to that for people to click on to. But I'd really like everybody to go join our 40-day transformation so you know where it is and then I want you to um, <laughs> later on when we get to the bottom of our business plan to the backside we're gonna write down names of people that we want to invite to that so <clears throat> if you're able to it's um, was it fall into balance transformation I believe it's called um, <clears throat> and Raven just posted the link so you can click on that thank you so much Raven you're such an amazing leader um, so Right there, you have the link in the comments. You can click on it, go and join it. Um, you know, write down the name of it if you need to so you can come back to it later. But I want you to, um, if you haven't ever shared your experience yet before, there you go, Fall into Balance 40-Day Group Transformation is the name of it. Um, if you haven't ever written a, a share before about a product that you've used, about doing a 10-day cleanse, I encourage you to go in there and post your story today. Um, and then if you've never shared on your own personal social media publicly, I encourage you to copy and paste that share onto your personal page as well and see who comments on that. And then those are the people that you can then reach back out to and invite them into the 40 day transformation if that's for them at this time. So, um, let's see here. So the next little slot is how many text messages are you going to send out per week? And this is your own personal accountability. Like I said earlier, we don't have a boss telling us what to do or how to do it, how many calls to make. So this is your own personal accountability. Um, I know that David Litt has been encouraging us to do at least 10 text messages a day. That's really easy to do. It really doesn't take that long to send 10 text messages. I know that others have done, you know, 20, 50, 100. It depends what your goal is. Um, there are several ways to do this, but mostly we're creating relationships with people and seeing who's ready for what we have. So it's about starting the conversation and, um, and just helping people learn about what we have to offer. And that's also one of the things that that social media exposure will do. Um, like I said, if you share your public story, then people will be able to sh show interest in what it is that you're doing. And therefore, you'll be able to then share what it is, share more details, and invite them to join you. Um, it's a really fun, fun process. So um, let's see some other, you can write down your key campaign ideas for a phone call as well. Um, for myself, I'm sticking with the 40-day. That's my campaign this month is Biomedic and the 40-day transformation. I really want to get as many people as I can on that. I think it's really important as the perfect time of year. It's before the holidays too. So um, we all know that statistically people gain weight during the holidays. So let's help people to reverse that statistic and to actually feel really healthy and vibrant before the holidays and continue with core four through the holidays and not gain that extra weight, right? How awesome would that be? Um, so the other thing that I want to um, remind you about, and um, 
let's see, is that we also have, as part of this, which I forgot to mention a little bit earlier, was we are doing the 90-day run, run with Ronnie Landis. This is another thing I want you guys to take a note on. Um, this is going to be every Monday at 11 o'clock Hawaii, 2 o'clock Pacific time, 5 o'clock Eastern time. Um, and this is going to be an amazing way for you to stay accountable with us and to have some accountability partners to be able to, um, you know, interact with us and participate. So there is some criteria to join the 90 day run, but if that is something that you wanna do, if you want that accountability, if you want to be in this group of people ready to rock it, then I highly, highly encourage you to reach out to your up team diamond or crown Skylar and, um, and just see what the criteria is. I'm sure we posted an A team as well, um, but if you feel like this would be helpful for you, definitely get signed up for that, figure out what you need to do to fit into that, um, with all that criteria. So the next part on this page is, um, setting your healthy, happy hour dates. So I'm curious who has some healthy, happy hour dates currently set up. And Raven is posting our criteria and information about the 90 day run in the comments. So make sure and check out the comments if you haven't yet. So I'm curious, who has some healthy happy hours planned so far this month? So we do have some great company healthy happy hours that I wanna share with you. Um, the first one is coming up in Long Beach on the 9th. Awesome, Claire. Are you doing a public healthy happy hour or is it in your home? Is it something you wanna share with the community? Awesome, Donica. Awesome, Claire. Yay, so we have some healthy happy hours planned, that's awesome. If they are a public event that you want to um, share with the community, then you can make an event page, you can post it in a team and invite the community in your area to participate. If it's in your home, then that's totally fine if you wanna do your own healthy happy hour. We do have some public healthy happy hours. Um, the first one coming up is in Long Beach. So if you know anybody in Long Beach, then you want to invite them to the one on September 9th. It is um, this coming Sunday. And um, that's gonna be a really great healthy happy hour to invite people to. They'll be able to learn about the product, the opportunity, they'll be actually there at corporate. So that's a great opportunity. Um, the next event in um, Los Angeles area also I believe it's gonna be um, at the corporate office is the regional rise event so this will actually be um, a training for new business partners so that's something that you can also invite to so if you know people in the Long Beach, Long Beach Los Angeles or the greater area I really encourage you to kind of put them at the top of your list that you're reaching out to right now um, and let them know that there's a healthy happy hour. There's also a business event the following week. So if they would like to try the product and buy a business pack and get trained in two weeks, that opportunity is there for them. Or actually, it, yeah, it's like 10 days away to that corporate event. Um, we also have a corporate event in Colorado on the 29th of this month. So make sure and write those dates down. And if you know anybody in Colorado or if you have team members in Colorado, that's a great event to invite them to. We have other regionals coming up as well. Um, here, I can get the dates so that way we can at least just write the dates down and I'll be on the same page with the dates to the events. Um, in October, we have two events. Um, there's a healthy happy hour in Asheville, North Carolina um, on the 4th of October. So if you know people in the Asheville area in North Carolina, that will be a really great event to invite them to, to come learn more about the products and the opportunity. Um, there's also the Orlando, Florida Rise event on October 20th. And then um, November 3rd is our Rise event in Kauai. So for those of you that want to come see us in Kauai for a business trip, mark down that date, November 3rd. So, um, back to planning healthy happy hours. Um, definitely write some dates down for healthy happy hours that you want to do in your own home. I personally started with a series of four healthy happy hours. That's what I was asked to do when I first launched in this business four years ago. 
And mind you, I was super nervous. I have, I had four kids in school and a brand new baby and getting the house up to par to invite a bunch of people over was like my biggest fear and like one of my biggest obstacles and blocks of like, I just, I don't know if I can do this, but honestly, you guys, my friends didn't care and they just came over and tried superfoods. They loved my story and they wanted to do what I was doing. So don't get too caught up in our own personal self-limiting beliefs um, cause our friends really don't care if the dishes haven't been washed today or whatever. Um, that's not what they're looking at. They're there to see you. They're there to hear from you. I'm not saying don't clean your house before your healthy happy hour, like rock it, make it look nice. But I'm just saying, don't stress out too much about it because I stressed out about it for a few weeks before I even hosted my first healthy happy hour. I don't think we need to do that. So, um, anyways, I hosted my first series of four healthy happy hours every week on Friday afternoon. And it was really fun because I was able to build momentum. So when I had my first healthy happy hour, I had a handful of people show up. I had reached out to like 40 of my friends here on the island. And, you know, I maybe had like five or six people show up, but I think three of them enrolled with business packs. I did one. And then the next week I did another one. So what I did is I invited my friends from the first, first healthy happy hour to come to the second one and bring their friends with them. And same moving forward. So if you have a healthy happy hour planned, I suggest that you actually have a second one planned after that, whether it's a week or two later, um, and keep them rolling because each healthy happy hour you can invite from event to event. And that is the very best way to build this business because that way you're building your momentum and you're actually getting a ton of referrals from your friends without really having to chase down referrals. Your friends are just happy to come over, bring their friends, and it's a really easy way to have the gift card conversation with them if they have been blocked against the launch pack in the past. This is a way that like they've invited their friend, their friend is excited to sign up, and now you're like, okay, so your friend's gonna get a 40-day transformation and I'm gonna make $62, or would you like me to enroll them with you? So. It's an it's a easy way to kind of show the people how easy it is um, and just invite them to come to the next one, invite them to bring their friends and let that momentum build. So that's a really fun way that I like to do it. Um, more recently, I've been doing Healthy Happy Hours down at the Wellness Center and it's been a lot of fun and she brings a lot of clients in from the Wellness Center. So that's a lot of just great because that's what people are there for. Um, now that we set some dates, Let's see, we're gonna see how many hours per week do you, okay, how many exposures? So how many, what's your total of customer exposures that you're gonna have this month and how many business exposures are you gonna have this month? So this is how many people you're talking to, having conversations with, um, how many of those people are gonna be more customer-based, how many of them are gonna be more business-based? Something, that, a conversation I really like that I believe David Skulteddy has shared with us in the past was, um, to, first of all, he says, recruit up. Second of all, lead with the business. Because if somebody isn't interested in our business, they might still be interested in our product. But if we lead with only a product and they don't like the spirulina we shared with them or whatever it might be, or maybe they don't like the Appleberry Power Shake, some people don't like it, um, then, you know, it actually they don't have the block of like, well, I don't like the product. Why would I want to be in business with you? So if you lead with the business, you can always fall back on the product. Even if they're not interested in a business opportunity, you can say, well, that's, you know, I'm glad you love your job. I'm so happy for you. And would you be interested in at least just supporting me and checking out my products? So that's a tip that I really love. And, you know, as often as I can, I lead with the business and then I fall back on the product because it's such a helpful way to have a conversation. Um, next, we want to enroll. How many people are you going to enroll? Okay, wait, how many hours a week are you going to work? So this is your own accountability, right? If you're already working two jobs and you have kids that come home from school and you're doing homework, where is your time going to be? Where are you going to fit this in? Are you going to work two hours a day? Is it a 90 minute, you know, amount of time that you can sit down and focus on your business? I really suggest that you find at least an hour to two hour um, window where you can sit down and focus on your business to really build momentum. It really takes at least, you know, 
I think it takes at least two hours to really sit down and make some huge moves, but I know that you can do a lot in an hour as well. If you sit down with a super focused intention, you have your list of people you're going to reach out to, which we're about to get around to, and, and you know what you're doing, you know your action steps, then an hour to 90 minutes can be a perfect amount of time, especially if you're already busy working several other jobs. If you're not working other jobs and you have a ton of time on your hand, go all in. You know, um, work as much as you can and go for the stars because that's what's possible here. And we have to help more people faster. So with that, what are your key days of the week to work? Are you going to be working Monday through Friday? Are you mostly working on your business on the weekends? Maybe you're only going to work on your business, you know, for an hour a day. And then on your day off, you're going to work four hours. Um, whatever it looks like to you, what are your key days of the week? And then... How many do you plan? How many customers do you plan on enrolling this month? And I'm gonna get into some numbers with you all too. So now that we're down to enrolling customers and brand partners, and that you have your goal of when you're gonna reach 1K, 2K club, you have your goal of when you're gonna reach director and executive. Um, I pulled out one of our really old fast start training guides. Those of you who have been around long enough to use these are probably laughing. I've had this probably for the full, whole four years I've been in this business. Um, so this is a concept that one of our amazing numbers guys came out with a while back, and it was five and three. So I kind of did a little bit of math last night and was trying to figure out how we could bring this concept back of five customers, three promoters, right? So the way this can work is that for each customer, if you have five customers that each spend about $200, then you're going to hit the 1K club. So that's pretty easy, right? Well, if you have three brand partners that each come in with $500 worth of products, so they get a free launch pack, that is approximately 340 BV. I tried it with several packages and it comes within a few BV of that most of the time. So approximately 340 BV per uh, new brand partner. And so that if you have three brand partners, that would be 1,050 BV on the brand partner side. So if you do five and three, that's like 2,000, that's over 2,000 BV. And now if you help one of your brand partners reach consultant, 1K club, you know, if you help your three brand partners at least just share a few gift cards each and potentially reach a goal, then that will just push you farther. Um, so that's how you can get to director is just by five customers, three promoters, and then we're helping your promoters to also share. Um, so that might mean like your promoters each enrolling a customer or a new brand partner, um, and that will get you the extra five, 500 points that you need to get to director potentially. Um, if your brand partners are rocking it and they're excited and they start right now and they enroll, they have their 340 BV. Oh, I forgot to mention you have your 240 BV from your 40 day lunch or your 40 day um, ultimate nutrition pack as well. So I'm counting that in as part of it as well. So if you do the math, you can actually have five customers, three brand partners, reach director. If you have your three brand partners put into action right away with our action steps, you could easily reach executive this month by helping your new brand partners to reach consultant or director or 1K or 2K club or above. So this is a really easy system of duplication. It's really about earn while you learn and then share how, what you did, right? So we have great tools. We have our five steps to success, which is so amazing. Thank you, Raven and Rob, for making that. Um, and so that's a little, you know, breakdown of how easy that can be. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have done this, but I actually printed out our product list, price list, and I laminated it. I love this. It's my best friend. It has the BV amount for everything. It has the retail price as a 25% off price, 15% off price. I have it right here on my desk. Anytime I do a connect call, um, as long as I'm here at the house, I have this in front of me and I'm able to look up really easily how much BV it's going to be, how much it's going to cost, um, what the cost breakdown is, like how much the discount is on the product. Um, you know, compared to the retail price, things like that, I can have it right in front of me. So if you haven't done that, you guys, I suggest printing out the price sheet, laminate it so it lasts forever. And, and it's 
my best friend. I love it. So that's how I kind of figured out the BV and the prices last night. I just played around with that for a little bit. Um, so, oh, hope so hope yeah. Where on the back office did you find that, hun? Um, it's in the resources, and I think it just says price list on it. So awesome. Let's see. So now we're going to get into who do we know. So on the back side of this, we have um, who do we know, and you can see like all mine are under business contacts. <laughs> Leading with the business, fall back on the product. So um, we have different prompts here, moms, athletes, weight loss, vegetarian or health conscious, over 40, people with kids. So those are some of the prompts of maybe people that you know. So write down names of people that fit into those categories. And then we have the business contacts as well. Um, the other thing I want to remind you about was those events that I mentioned earlier. So I want you guys to add to this list people you know around Los Angeles. Or Colorado because those are the events that are happening this month um, so that's the basic of the business planning worksheet I would love to hear from some of you as well um, you know what the business plan has done for you because I know many of us have used this as a tool so if this has been a, a tool that has helped you you feel like it helps you stay accountable to your goals or if you've done a 90 day run with us, I'd love to hear your experience and your share around the topic. I know some of us have done this. Some of us have done 90 day runs. Some of us have done business plans. I think everybody here has, should have done a business plan at some point. And um, I know that for myself, okay. it really helps me to be accountable. Um, I actually have kept all of my business plans for the past four years in a drawer. And I periodically will go through them and look at the backside of the business plan with all these names. And it's like a second network notebook. Sometimes I will forget about some of these people that are on here or they'll get lost in the pages of my network notebook. And what I do with this throughout the month is I will, when I reach out to these people, I'll like put a little check off next to their name. If they're interested in what it is that I'm talking about or if I need to follow up with them, I might put like a little star or a heart next to their name. I have like my little codes. Um, and that helps me because then when I look back at this, I know who I need to follow up with. I can look back at the one from last month. Um, or from six months ago, and then I can check back in. And if some of those people still haven't enrolled, I can check back in with them and follow up again and let them know that we're doing a 40 day transformation coming up. So that's one tip I'd like to share about what I love about my business plan. I'd love to hear from you all as well. Um, I'll jump in since um, I'm not hearing anybody else jumping in right now. Um, it's definitely been helpful to have the business plan and um for me it's a healthy challenge um to get really specific and to think about numbers for me that's where my growth is and where i have the most resistance so it helps me you know that that in itself is a as a personal development um piece to just um think about numbers and look at specifically what am i going to be doing um so it's uncomfortable but it's healthy for me to do that so that's really good for me. And I've definitely enjoyed seeing my, like my most important goal change over time. That's been pretty cool to see it go from like, um, to be able to pay the rent on time uh, to um, now it's more like to succeed in building a successful, growing, thriving Purium community, you know, in my area. And just seeing, you know, over time, things like that changing and, um, seeing my goals get a little more grounded and a little more realistic, but still be a stretch. So, um, yeah, that's just a little something, um, of my experience of it. And the 90 day run too, I think is that same, same experience for me. It's a good, uncomfortable, healthy challenge. Um, and it's, it's helped me to, you know, it's just helpful with accountability and really understanding what it is that I actually need to be doing to grow in this business and putting some, some um, healthy discomfort and challenge and accountability around all of that for me is 
what I need. So um, yeah, so that those are both positive things. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing, Summer. Anybody else wanna share your experiences about business planning or doing a 90 day run with us? I'll jump in, Naeva. I would love to share with everybody, um, especially you know when I once I got to the rank of diamond and went from diamond to green diamond. I think the most powerful piece of this business planning worksheet is to really know who's taking their business seriously, so you know who to work with. I hands down, I got to tell you, like the people who post their business plans are the people who are really ready to expand out of their comfort zone, who are really ready to change their life, who are looking for more, who are tired of the same old story. And that's what I love most about this business planning worksheet is that when we post it, we're taking our business seriously. We're treating our business like a business and not all of our brand partners are ready to do that. So I truly believe that this exercise is more of standing up and raising your hand and saying, I am willing to be accountable for the things that I write down, especially when we sign it at the bottom. It definitely is almost like an internal personal contract that we're signing with ourselves that is lining out our goals. And what's really amazing as up team support is that we can actually help you chunk those goals down into what can you do today? How many people can you help today in order to achieve your goals by the 30th of this month? So that for me, I think is the most important piece of this business planning worksheet. And yeah, it can definitely be daunting when you are doing the same thing over and over again and you haven't reached your goal yet. But the truth is, as long as you don't quit, you are going to get to your goal eventually. You just have to find the people who want it more than you do. So that's what I wanted to add today. Thank you. I love what you added. That was really great um, information. And it's so true. So true. Um, and you reminded me also that on the bottom of the business plan worksheet on the back, it also has who is building your network, um, your network notebook. So it has who are your customers and your brand partners. And that was the part that I kind of left out was, you know, writing down who your new brand partners are, customers are on the back side of this page also gives you a way to keep track of who your newest brand partners are for this month of keeping track numbers of like I've enrolled three you know customers this month and a new brand partner and how many more do I have to go before I reach my goal or who can I be helping today whether it's on the product support side or whether it's on the business side it just helps you have a list um, especially once you get into the higher ranks where you have a lot of new people coming in and you're working with a lot of people um, the back side of this is really great at the bottom. You can write down your customers, your team members you're working with, what their goals are. Um, and it just has, it's a, something I can just glance at, kind of know what, who I need to follow up with. So thanks so much, Raven. Always such potent information that you share. And I'm so excited for our 90 day run with Ronnie Landis. I think that's going to be fabulous. So thank you so much for opening that up for us all as well. Um, who else would like to share next? We'd love to hear your voice. Hey, this is Donica. I'd like to share. Um, I'm at work right now, so I'm not on video. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can. I was just muting out okay. the other device. Okay, sweet. So I'm just kind of newly doing my business plan again, did it for this month, and I've noticed that, um, yeah, it was a big step for me to fill it out and commit to it and say yes to doing the work and prioritizing it, and it's made a huge profound shift even in the last few days of like moving into that, saying yes to it, and then also like figuring out the points that I want to achieve and then breaking it down to a daily amount is also really helpful because it's helping me to motivate to do the things that are still uncomfortable for me, like posting on social media every day and following up and reaching out and just kind of growing more. So um, that's happening and yeah, I'm excited for what's to, uh, over what's to unfold 
this month. I feel like a lot of good things are happening already. And yeah, that's all I wanted to share. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Donica. And yeah, it's amazing what just putting pen to paper will do. You know, just that simple action step and committing to yourself, it puts you into action because you've written down kind of an accountability to yourself. So I love what you just shared. Thank you so much for writing your business plan and being accountable and for sharing your heart with us all today. Anybody else want to share about your experience, experience on business plan? Oh, I will. Hi. Hi. Um, so I've had amazing experiences with my business plans. Um, the first one that I did in December, I had really lofty goals. I was in a position where my why was super strong and I, uh, I wrote it out and I actually made an altar all around my business plan and uh, just looked at it every single day and gave attention and energy to it. And I also really set those goals of um, the numbers of reach outs every day and all the different forms that I could. And that really made me get results because I wasn't getting fixated on just like one person. I was like more in touch with my action steps. And the more I kept taking those action, action steps consistently, the more people would come from out of the woodworks and be responsive to that. Um, and uh, yeah, I was hesitant to sharing my business plans after that, because I knew I really didn't have a lot of business plans. I was like, you know, my plan right now is to not focus on business and just focus on the things that were before me. Um, but I'm super excited to be back in the business and I got my plan up. And I actually also, um, now I have it up right in front of me to where every single time I'm on my computer, I'm looking at it. And I have a little checklist so that I can um, be accountable to myself as to whether or not I did follow through with the number of texts that I you know, committed to myself that I would do or the number of posts or private messages, stuff like that. So yeah, I feel, I feel like it's a great way for me to be accountable to myself. Thanks for the encouragement. Awesome, I love that. And I love that you put it as your screen saver on your computer so you can look at it all the time. I think I'm gonna do the same. I love that idea. Um, uh, it's actually not on my screensaver. It's like yeah. on one of my three dream vision boards that I have, but it's the one that's right behind my computer. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Awesome. It's like right my desk. Yeah. Awesome. That's kind of how I keep it too. I have it pinned up right behind my desk. So I look at it all the time. Um, yeah. Well, I love what you just shared. That's so potent to just, you know, when you put that intention out there and like Skylar said, you were really intentional with your reach out. You called people, you know, you had your list of people, you reached out, you did a ton of phone calls, and you built a ton of momentum in your team. So congratulations, and it's amazing. I love what this what business plan can do. Thanks. Hey, Naiva, it's Skylar. Yeah. And actually, I just want to hop in and speak to this for a moment, because I was in the house with Tara, I think, like the last week of the month when she was running for Diamond. And she was like at executive. And I think we had like a week left in the month. And she's like, I, I can make Diamond happen. I'm going to do it. And literally, from morning till night, I watched her on the phone and she would be standing up. So she was like fully in her energy, in her power, walking across the room, like, like pacing or going outside and walking through the yard, super animated, super charged up, super passionate about what she was doing. And she was calling people and telling them like, Hey, you know, you need to do this pretty much. Like, you know, you're going to love this. Trust me. Um, this is going to be amazing for you. Like she was extremely bold in her approach um, and like extremely unapologetic. And it was really powerful and impactful to watch her in her in action. Um, and then towards the end, when she was just about to diamond, I think she had a couple thousand more points to the end. She reached out to people and said, Hey, it's really going to help me if you place an order right now. 
<laughs> and like straight up told them, you know, hey, you're going to really help me out in my business. This is what I'm doing. Um, it's going to help you out. And she built like a huge team like that. And that volume is still pushing for her. And um, yeah, I just want to shout out because, you know, you re-ranked Diamond again last month for the first time after, you know, taking a step out of the business because of personal things and whatnot and moving and all that. And um, just to see you relaunch and have a team running with you is just so, so awesome. So I just want to give you a, a huge shout out for that because one, I think everybody can really learn from the way that you did that. And two, um, re-ranking again um, and having a team running with you now is a huge accomplishment. And I just want to give you a shout out to that and congrats. So awesome. Hey, thanks so much, Guy. Yeah. You know, I just want to speak to that for a moment. Um, I feel like the biomedic is the most important formula that we could be consuming every single day. The levels of glyphosate and the damage that's being done uh, because of glyphosate is just astronomical. If we could get our hands on those slides that Jeffrey Smith put on that PowerPoint keynote presentation that he had at the convention, that is just the most compelling thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, the, the, the correlation between the use of glyphosate and every disease known to man is like so in line. It's just um, a no brainer that like David Skoltetti said in his thing yesterday, everybody should be starting out with a four pack. Forget just buying a one pack of biomedic. We all have friends, we all have family, we have neighbors, we have pets, we're being exposed. We could be living in Eugene, Oregon and eating everything pure organic, but it's in the water. It's on the grass that we walk out. It's being sprayed on the you know, school grounds. People that live near golf courses are having autoimmune diseases that are debilitating them. They're absolutely destroying their lives. And we're getting results within six weeks with just a $2 a day, a pill in the morning and a pill at night if we take it as it's suggested on the bottle. You know, People often say, oh, I can't afford it, but I see them drinking their lattes. I see them eating out. I see them driving their cars around. It's a matter of their priorities. And a lot of people would maybe, you know, they prioritize complaining about their issues compared to actually resolving their issues and living a vibrant, full, healthy life. But um, the people that want to live the vibrant, full, healthy life, those are the ones that uh, are going to be spending time with us. So yeah, anyways, thanks, Guy. Thanks, Neva. <laughs> I love it. I love the energy. and so exciting and so inspiring for all of us. So that's what we're looking for. Um, Anybody else want to share your experience about um, what the business plan has been doing for you, helping you be accountable, or if you've done a 90-day run, what that has helped you accomplish? Hey, I'll speak up. This is Sharon here. Hi, Tara. Hi, Terry. Oh, my lovely ladies all surrounded here. Um, you know, I've only done two. No, maybe this is my third business plan, and it definitely, definitely sparks a spark and it keeps you accountable and um, especially for me um, I'm totally new to this and it's really outside my comfort zone <laughs> I really didn't think I'd be here today but I am and I'm loving every bit of it so just stick with plan and it will fall into place awesome thank you so much for sharing Sharon yeah. So great to have you on here. <laughs> awesome. Anybody else want to share? We'll take a couple more shares and then um, I'll give you a couple action steps before we call this to a close. Hi, this is Claire. Can you hear me? Yep. Hi, Claire. Um, this is the first time that I like posted my business plan on my office wall and I got super excited at the end of last month just um, having reached out to people and seeing that when you actually talk to people, they do say yes. So I'm even more inspired and motivated to have my business plan up to be reaching for executive this month and um, just super excited to jump on all these calls and hear the motivation from you guys and your experiences because I feel like that's what really helps me stay focused and when things get tough and I hear a lot of no's, it's like, it's okay. You have to hear a lot of no's to get the few yeses. So um, that's what my business plan means to me. I can see it. I can look at it and remind myself, okay, you're reaching out to 10 people today. It's all good. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for your time and, and all that. 
Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Claire. Yeah. And it's, it's so true. You know, it takes a lot of no's to get to those yeses, but when you get to the yes, it's so encouraging to have those people excited to do what you're doing. So good job. Keep up the good work. Um, anybody else feel like sharing next? Hi girls. It's Terry Lynn. Hi, Terry. You can go, you can go first. Is it me? Okay, are you guys ready? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. All right, so listening to this, you guys, I just got done dropping my dogs off at the groomers. Of course, it's the first day back. I have still lost my voice from last week when I was running for Diamond. Okay, so I have not been able to give my voice a rest because I've, I've just been out. But I got to tell you guys something in a very softer way because it's hard for me to talk. But this is all... This is the truth, okay? I started this business five months ago under Sharon, okay, under Tara. Okay, Tara was not around right then at that personal moment because she had some things going on, and Sharon and I were blind. We were completely blind. We did not know what to do, okay? We, we, knew, that we, we knew that we would enjoy the products, um, organic, non-GMO, but we, we weren't really like, we don't have time for this business possibly, and I can't watch all these Zooms, and you girls are way too pretty, and you're way too with it, and I don't know if we fit in, because before Perium, you guys, you're not balanced, and you're kind of all over the place, and you go through these whoops, you know, every day, and then if you self-medicate on the weekend and have a few drinks, it takes a few more days out of your week, right? So the reason I'm saying this is because Skylar jumped in and basically reached out to me. And um, now Tara, okay, but I'm going to tell you, this is how I feel. Last month, I made it to Diamond, and I didn't make it to Diamond. People pushed me there, okay? The months previously, I had worked my fanny off, and I needed three legs, so it didn't matter if I did 12K in sales, which, believe me, you guys, I made $3,000 almost every month, but I couldn't get to my rank without my people, right? So, kind of how I rebirthed Tara, helped to rebirth Tara, okay? Then Mark Thomas and Brenda Cooley and Sadie Collins this month, last month, rebirthed me. Because like I wasn't, I remember you guys saying, don't get burnt out, don't try to do this all yourself, and you don't tell me that because like I do everything myself, I do not delegate, and I get it done, and that's a sad thing that I need to get over. So last month I was, Kind of, you know, I was not frustrated. I knew I could do it, but I wanted to do it faster. So when I came home from convention, I took all that power and all that knowledge and all that magnetic friendship and love that I had, and I just started pumping my people, okay? I worked two months, two weeks last month, and, I, and my people carried me. They all made it to, I mean, one of my guys is going to make it to executive this month, and he's a freaking rock star, and he is a rock star. But I just wanted to reach out and tell you guys, for those that are trying to re-rank, and for those of you that maybe really blew the top off this thing, and then you had a few people, like Raven said, the people that are going to promote you and carry you to Crown or Diamond or whatever are not necessarily the people that are with you in the beginning. And until now, I d it all hit me today when the weekend's over. I made it to Diamond really by the hair of my chinny-chin-chin. Chin. I'm already at director, basically really close to director. And you guys, I haven't really done anything yet because I was with my family all weekend. So all I'm telling you is if you feel down, if you feel like you're not getting where you need to be, just keep talking to more people because you have no idea who that next person is going to be and what kind of volume they're going to pump through your leg to make you go, holy crap, this is like a no-brainer, right? And stay on the product. If you don't stay on the product, you can't stay balanced. All right? I noticed that on the weekends. So that's all I have to say. I love you guys. I love Tara, Sharon. You guys rock. Naiva, thank you. Skylar, Raven, everybody. I love all you guys. Awesome. Thank you so much, Terry. What amazing inspiration. I love everything that you just shared. And I can totally relate to that. When I reached Diamond for the first time three and a half years ago, I think I had five new consultants, a new director, and a new executive. This isn't a business that we do alone. This is definitely a business that we do by helping others. And by helping others succeed, that's how we're going to find the most success. And that's how we build the momentum. So really loved everything that you shared. And I want to thank everybody that came on here and shared today. Um, 
So now that we've all written out our business worksheet, I want to ask you if you haven't yet posted this in a team, I want you to take a picture of this and I want you to go place. If you haven't placed your own personal order yet this month, your action steps are to place your own personal order this month and post your business plan with a picture of your personal order or the thank you for placing your order. Um, so take a screenshot of your order, take, take a picture of your business plan and post it in a team with for us. Please tag your up team, um, tag your team members and encourage them to do the same. And we're gonna have an amazing month. If you wanna join our 90 day run, make sure and reach up to your up team diamond or your up team enroller and find out what it is that you need to do. I'm sure we're gonna have um, all of that written out in a team as well for you all. And um, what was the last thing? I think that was all. I was I had one more action step on the top of my mind and I wrote it down earlier, but now I don't know what I did with it. So business plan, personal order. Oh, and joining the 40 day transformation and writing your story in there. So that way when you add people in there, you can actually tag them on your personal experience. So that, that way they see what you have done and then they can read other experiences as well. So those are your action steps for today. Um, we want lots of stories in that 40 day group, then also copy and paste that to your personal page so that that way your friends and family can see what you have been doing and see your transformation and start asking questions. And then that gives you a way to add them into the 40 day as you start those conversations with them. So I hope this was an informational educational call for you all. Thank you so much for coming and doing your business plans. I love you all. Make it an amazing day. It's going to be a great month. Aloha. Thank you, Naeva. Awesome call. Love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you. Thank you. Aloha.